Hello everybody, this is Artemis, and today we are playing Agrarian Skies. This is, why am I grabbing all this stuff? I don't even know. But Agrarian Skies is a map made by Jaded Cat, very similar to Crash Landing in the fact that it uses um, pre-built mod pack and this questing mod, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Start hard. It has been a horrible ten years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters, monsters from, from other, other dimensions, dimensions on an unsuspecting, unsuspecting world. world. Not, Not satisfied, satisfied with just destroying just the, human the human life, life. the monsters rampaged the monsters across the world, eating everything, across the world, they could find, everything and they could find in their way, way but empty void. The, the great mage trio Dusk, Vizzle, and Scott, Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power, power to, protect to protect your home and a small amount of land, land from the fine of devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The Great Trio cast their spell to protect you, while the Magician Way of Flowing Time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the Jaded One, and the Cute One have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless, to repopulate the planet. To this end, the Jaded One has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, punch tree, get wood. Okay, so it says repopulate the planet. How am I supposed to do that? I'm the only one here. And we have two lives here, which is much better than on, um, uh, what's it called? Crash landing. So, this book is a new invention from Vizwa, Scott Wares, and Lord Dusk. You may be wondering how to use this book. On the off chance that you're... Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Basically, if you don't know how this works, go watch my Crash Landing videos. But we have to make some wood planks, and it's already nighttime. Yay. We are going to go Oakwood. And I think this island is small enough that I don't have to worry about mob spawning. Alright, we are on... Normal difficulty. Okay. Punch wood. Welcome to Minecraft! Well, punching wood is what you do. And we'll go ahead and just keep turning these in as we go. So we take our wood and do that. Quest book. We get the pick of splintered dreams. Manual completion in the library. Let's go this way. The second type of quest is the consume quest. You will not be able to get the item back after turning them, th them in. They vanish into the stomach of the giant void monster, thereby preventing him from eating you alive. That's preferable. Consume quests can be completed by collecting the items and then clicking the manual submit button. So now we have the quest delivery system. The QDS. The final way of turning in quest is the quest delivery system. This block will require you to send items through a hopper or duct attached to the block. AE buses can also send items to the delivery system before you send items to the hopper. Where did that go? To the hopper. The QDS will void all extra items not needed for quest completion. This is the only way to turn in quests that require fluids. You'll need to use ducks to put the fluids into the delivery system. You can have multiple QDSs assigned to different mods. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you combine heart pieces into full hearts. Right click with the heart will add one life to your total. So, let's go feed the QDS. Hup, hup. Where can we put this for now? For now, we'll just put it right here. Then we'll grab our hopper. Put the hopper on top. And then we will select the task. And send it to the QDS. And then we put one oak wood plank in there. And there we go. No help given. The... F Give the hopper back. You don't need to keep it. Make sure you break it with a pickaxe. Okay. Oh, uh, I have a pickaxe here. Hope this works. Please don't break. Okay, we got it. There we go. No help given. 
Manual Smith. And we claim the reward. Now, we have these reward bags, which we don't have in um, Crash Landing that I've found yet. So let's just right click this. Now we have three lives remaining. That's good. Ooh, a mysterious magnet. Point zero, zero point four seven chance to get this. A mystical magnet. Level 8 inactive. Okay. Not sure how that helps us at the moment. But let's go ahead and keep looking here. Uh, kill the zombies. Repeatable quest. Oh! Every four days we can do this. That's cool. So you kill three zombies and then you get a half a heart and four apples. That's cool. Oh! That's cool. I didn't... That's really cool. Okay, the librarian. We need a bookbinder. During the course of play, you are going to end up with a lot of books that guide you through the mods in the map. Rather than keep them in separate inventory slots, you can combine them into a bookbinder. Any book in a bookbinder can be accessed by right-clicking it from inside the bookbinder GUI. Okay, let's make a bookbinder. First, let me turn down my music. It's like 3%. Um, because I don't like the music on this, but... I guess if we don't like that, we can always turn it off. First thing I always do is check if the chisel mod is installed. Doesn't look like it is. So then we go a book binder. And Sheridan. So we need two paper and a string. How can we make paper? Wood chips. Letters. Three letters. An alchemical chemistry set. A carpenter. A centrifuge. Or through shaped crafting. Okay. So it doesn't look like there are any cool ways to do that. In the beginning. Ah, here we go. You may have noticed you have very little to start with. Almost no land. No food. But hey, you have a floor. Be thankful for that much. Now it is up to you to rebuild the entire planet. Or so you can... Or as much as you can before dying. To start with, I suggest growing some trees. Oaks will splay with apples in the saplings. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, leaves and string you will be turning into dirt. Place three barrels outside where rain can fall into them. Place the other two under cover. You have eight spare saplings. Place them in a barrel to compose into dirt. You can compost leaves, rotten meat, apples, wheat, and string. Is any idea to look up the recipes. Okay, it's raining right now. We're gonna make... We're gonna have to go punch this tree a bit more. And hopefully... We'll be able to get enough wood to make a couple barrels pretty quickly. Because it is currently raining. Actually, real fast, I have a feeling food is going to be a real problem here. So what we are going to do is we're just going to go bam, bam, crafting station. So there's one of these things that we needed. We need a chest, a part builder, a tool station, a stencil table, a barrel, and a crook. So now we're going to make a crook. And first I'm going to get rid of this fancy redstone brick post from Microblocks. And replace it with our crafting station. And that might change later, but... Now we're going to make a crook, which you're very familiar with, if you've seen Crash Landing. If you've not seen Crash Landing, please go check it out. Little harmless self-promotion. I'm going to turn this down, like, really low. So that way you don't get deafened by the sound of that. And you can still hear the sound of my voice. My voice. Can you hear the sound of my voice? But yes, um, this map is by Jaded Cat. It has quite a few mods. Um, it's kind of it's more toned down than Crash Landing is. Crash Landing, I think, is a bit more intense. This one has more magic stuff involved with it. And we didn't get enough. We didn't get very many saplings from there, which is disappointing. But there we go. So we have a little more wood. Keep punching trees, which is what you do in Minecraft. <laughs> Bam! There we go. We got a nice sized tree here. So now we gotta take down all these leaves with the crook. There should be like an auto crooker or something from Mine Factory Reloaded. That'd be pretty cool. But the thing is, there's like no dirt around here, which is a real pain because um all this right here, this is all like green stained clay. So we this is the only space where we can plant. Um, saplings for now. I'm going to make another crook because that way we can get extra sapling drops and also silkworm drops, which are important. So 
yes. This task, we don't have the environment mod like we do in Crash Landing, so we don't have to worry about water. All we have to worry about is food. And we do have a bunch of new foods in here. I think we have harvest. Pam's Harvest Craft in here. Lots of cool mods. But hopefully this rain won't stop yet, because I kind of need some barrels. In fact, we're going to punch down this. And then we're going to go see if we can make some barrels. Real fast. So make some more planks. And now let's look for a barrel. Barrels. Okay, so we need some slabs. We'll just grab one slab, and then go bam, bam, two, three, two, three, three barrels, or two barrels, um, there we go, enough barrels, and we'll stick them outside really quickly, one, two, three, perfect placing. And now these fill up with water, yep. That's cool. And we'll finish punching down this tree now. So yeah, I hope you are enjoying this video, if you're watching. just wanted to take now and say thank you for watching. Uh, it really means a lot to me that you guys would watch this. Ooh, we make clay fences. That's cool. I like this. This looks like... Looks very like those Japanese like arches. Those are really cool. Now we have some more of these. And that looks like it's doing well. Did it say to put three outside? Two undercover and three outside. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if we want to put more out here. That might be worthwhile. I don't know, though. We're just going to try to get enough wood to finish all these tasks. And then we will move on really quickly. Yeah. So we can keep hitting leaves. <laughs> this is... I've been doing this a lot recently, just using crook on leaves. But it's fun. So... Crash Landing is fun. Um, I know I was talking about doing a stream for Crash Landing, and I, we are having technical issues, so we probably won't do any streaming of agrarian skies either because right now I'm just going to be able to use the integrated streaming ab of the the integrated streaming ability available from Minecraft 1.7 which I think they should like make a 1.6 patch to add that to it so that way you could do it with mods like this for those people who don't, can't get Twitch to work and with their software yeah uh, so let's see, what did we need? I think we needed the basics for Tinker's Construct, right? We need a chest, a part builder, a tool station, and a stencil table. Stencil table. So we will make a few stencils. We'll just go one, two, three. And then this is way a much cheaper way of making your patterns. And I always forget to do this correctly. So now, you're supposed to save one plank worth. Okay, now we need a tool station. I think that is a crafting table with a pattern on top. So that's easy. And then we need a chest. That's it. And then we'll make the rest of these. We'll make one more barrel. And if it's still raining, we'll put that outside for the moment. But, so yeah, there we go. Now we'll have a little bit extra water in barrels. Wait, that's a clay notch from microblocks. So we'll put that there, fill that up. Then we'll have four barrels. I know it only said that we needed three, but I think it'll be useful to have a few more than is needed. And there we go. Keep hitting trees. <laughs> Which, okay, so, in Crash Landing, it's focused more on mechanical mods and absolutely making it extremely difficult, while Crash Landing here is foc- er, we're playing Crash Landing, everybody. Um, Agrarian Skies here is focused more on the magic and trying to rebuild the world, so this is like Ultimate Skyblock. 
What we're going to do is we're going to dig this out so we can put in some half slabs. Whoa! <gasps> Already? Really? Did I lose? If I lose all my stuff, I'm going to be mad. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. <laughs> well, let's take a look at our quest book. See, what, what did we lose there? Not much. But now I have to kind of, like... Here, we'll use our rain muffler. Which I think there's already a rain muffler in place. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Oh, man. Gotta loop around there. Let me get some of this. Get some more wood. Gotta be very careful here. So, yeah. First time we died. That's the wonderful thing about this map, is we don't have to worry about the dying as much. I mean, we can't just go around dying for no reason, because then we lose all our stuff. But... It is not nearly as unpunishable as it is in Crash Landing. So now we're going to use this to make some slabs. Oh, I should have left one. Rats. Okay, we're going to use these slabs to make it so we don't need to jump when we walk through here. There we go. And then I'm just going to punch this with my fist. Because I lost my pickaxe. So we'll have to make a pickaxe now. Again. But there we go. Now we have stairway up. And we don't have to worry about that anymore. So one thing is can be checked off our list of things that we need to do. Oh, I lost my one sapling. I need to punch these really fast. I need a sapling, please. Yes, okay, we got a sapling. We're good. Lightning dancing in the sky. That was a song we sang in music class as a kid. It was like an Igor song. Um, so yeah, we have all these leaves we're hitting, and I can't believe I died already. Welcome to Minecraft, everybody. I'm good at games. <laughs> okay, but we did get some saplings, so all is not lost. Do not worry, fair citizens of the world, for we can still make this work. We're just going to punch this. And then I'm going to... We're going to chop down this tree. And then I'm going to go craft that last thing. And then we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I got all the stuff we needed. So we can go ahead and claim this reward. But first, we need to decide. Do we want a pan of destiny or do we want an axe of despair? The thing is, I don't think this pan of destiny will be that useful to us right away. Except for cooking things, maybe. But I'm going to go with the Axe of Despair. So we'll claim the reward. Get some nice music going. Um, and then we have a reward bag. Let's go ahead and move all our stuff off our hotbar so we can just look at this right away. Bam. We got a latticed heath. Oh, it's a butterfly. That's cool. So we have a butterfly, everybody. We have a butterfly. A beautiful little butterfly. Here we go. Let's go. F5. See, you can see I'm holding a butterfly in my hand. Yay. Life is good. But we got some stuff done. I went ahead and remade all of this stuff. The All the stuff I lost. Except for the chest. Oh, well. But I figured that would be easier than just doing nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I have a tree. Is that grown yet? Oh, I didn't even plant one. <laughs> Oops. So we'll do that. And then we'll grab out our bone meal again. I'm going to grab just a little more wood so I can make a pattern chest. And then we'll go ahead and look at our next quest while I set up my base in here. So we're going to do this. I need another one. Another piece of wood. This stairway right here, really nice to have, I think. Very unfortunate that I fell through a hole there. Quite unfortunate, in fact, but... You know, not undealable. We can deal with it. Um, I don't think we had anything too valuable when we died, except for maybe that pickaxe. But we can always build another one, right? There we go. We got at least one sapling, two saplings. Okay, we've made a profit. From it. Wow. This crook gives you a lot more saplings. I'm not even going to bother to make a new one. I'm just going to let all this decay, and then I'll come out and get all the drops in a minute. 
But this way we don't have to use any hunger to climb around. We also have 11 apples and a quarter of a heart that we're going to put in here. So we don't die and lose it. Where else are we going to put our... Mmm, sorry. We're also going to put the butterfly and the rain muffler and all that stuff. Actually, we're going to put the rain muffler. Right, mmm. Right up. Hup. No. Hup. There we go. We'll put the rain muffler right there. So it's kind of out of the way. You don't see it when you're just looking around, but it's also functional. So we need two of these. We're going to make four sticks. Use these to make a pattern. We put the pattern on top of a chest that we're going to make here. And that'll give us a pattern chest, right? Yup. So we're going to go ahead and move this. We can actually grab out our axe. So we're clumsy with this axe, and every time we break something, we gain experience in it, and we can repair it with wood. So I plan to just use this a lot now. So it'll slowly improve as we go. So then we'll put our heart builder there, right? Yes, that's set up correctly. And then our stencil table, and our tool station, and our crafting station. So now we have our nice little tinker's corner. You can still access that, even with that there. So we're good there. Then this... Can I just punch that and break it? Yeah, I can, yes. So we're going to put the QDS in here. And then hopefully we don't lose this quest book, otherwise we're kind of in trouble. Okay, smooth as silk. String is the gateway to all resources. Fishing rods will provide food. Sieves are useful to sift dirt. Gravel, sand, and dust to obtain stone ores and other resources to get string, you will need to break leaves with your crook until you receive a silkworm. Right click a leaf, block on a newly grown tree with the silkworm. Walk away. When all the leaves on the tree have turned white, break them with a crook to get string and more silkworms. When you have extra silkworms, you can cook them for food. It just so happens. We have a silkworm. And I'm sorry, I can't deal with the music. Even at 3%. <laughs> so we got rid of our we got our silkworm ready. We'll go ahead and grab these. And so now I also happen to know that there's a, a dirt chest here. It's capable of holding one stack of, or one set of items. Why you would ever build this, I don't know. But apparently somebody wanted it, so it got implemented. And we're going to come over this way, I think, will be the next logical way to come. Let's grab a few more of these slabs. Do I have them, or did I die with the slabs? Did I use them all? Oh yeah, I used them on making some barrels. That's also what I did off camera. I made a couple of barrels. We have four full barrels in here, three empty barrels in here. And now we'll make some more slabs. Because I'm really trying to conserve our food. Because apples only give you half a hunger bar each. So I'm just going to eat enough so that I don't starve. I'm not going to even fill up all the way. This looks really cool. Like... Microblocks can make some really cool looking stuff. They're a real pain because now I can't place any blocks like right next to the house. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. How will I, how can I do this? I'm just gonna break this one here. I think that's the best way to do this. And then here, we'll just put this here. And then we don't oh, what's that, I wonder? I'll have to go look. What's this? A road. Oh. I don't really... Th oh. Oh. Whew. I should have died there. That would have been really bad again. <laughs> if I died again in the first episode. Oh, man. But we can put this here. We'll bone meal it just to get this started up. Uh-oh. Is this a... Hope this isn't okay. Ah, there we go. There we go. And then we just... Take the silkworm that I left in our house, and we right-click it on the thing. These silkworms are so funny because they're like wiggling in your hand. <laughs> it's like you'd think they'd be dead, but they're not. So now this is an infested leaf, and so it'll slowly spread to the whole tree. And so we'll come back probably next episode, crook it down, and we'll have string to do those things. Kill the zombies, all of that, the librarian, which we need string for. And now we also have for the hoarding. Whoa. Oh, starting back up. Okay. 
was like, whoa, what's that? But it's just it making backup for us. Storage Wars. As you ga start gathering items, you may notice that basic chests quickly become cluttered and overflowing. Iron chests provide a bit more room, but are still not as useful for neat and orderly storing. Barrels from Jabba will be the first items you can uh, easily make for sorting and storing materials in large quantities. Jabba barrels can be upgraded to hold more materials, emit redstone signals when full, and even to void items that won't fill in the current space. You can lock a Jabba barrel by sneak right-clicking on it. If that is empty, when it is locked, it will not accept any items. If it has an item in it when locked, then even if the items are removed, it will only accept replacements of that item into its storage space. The barrels can be moved when full through the use of a dolly. Okay. Um, you need structural upgrade and storage upgrade. So that lets you add an upgrade to it, and that lets you add more storage. So better barrels. Let's see, what does it take to make a better barrel? barrel. Better barrel. It takes some wood, a slab, and a chest. Oh, we could do that pretty quickly. Let's go down here and grab some more stuff. And I think what we will do is we'll put this here, go inside and read that other quest string, and then we'll figure out what we want to do next. So we have a full heart, and that'll, that'll be nice to get when we do this. Um, and it looks like there's a lot of stuff. Looks like we go into ME um, Applied Energistics next after that, though. So that'll be an expensive thing. Then there's seven... Nine, looks like there are nine sets of quests to go through, four of which are open. Fluid storage. This will take some glass, which means I think we'll need some cobblestone to make glass. Not sure about that. Um, so we have fluid storage, bragging rights, oh, hmm, so it looks like there are, you really killed four withers just to complete a quest? I have to kill four withers to do this? Oh, man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Gonna have to kill four withers for one thing. Armor smith. Oh, okay, so it looks like these quests are all, like, additional quests. I think the bragging rights quest we will all do on a live stream. We'll just have, maybe around Christmas time, we'll get around to the bragging rights live stream. That'll be kind of fun, don't you think? Um, but yeah, so we have a lot of different options we can go to do. We have some extra oak saplings, so let's go ahead and look in this barrel, see how this works. So we put eight in, and then it starts composting. It's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and throw those back for the moment. Make another... There it is. Make another crook. So that way we can punch down the leaves of this tree. And now we will go... Let's take a peek out here. See, that's what it does. And it turns them all to white leaves. Like right here, I think. Um, this one right here. Almost completely infested. This one is completely infested. It's 100% done. That one hasn't been infested at all. But... Um, I think next episode we'll probably be able to do that. This is pretty... I really like this game, like I said. What is going on? This is taking all my bone meal. <laughs> Stop, please. There we go. Oh, that's a very big tree. <laughs> We're going to have saplings for days. Like, it's not even going to be funny how many saplings we have. Like, I can't even reach the top of this tree. Which is not good. Like, I love that I can just look up without having to worry about walking off the map because of these fences. So yeah, there are a lot of saplings here. I love the fact that I don't have to worry about water either. Like, after playing Crash Landing and then playing this, it's just so much more fun because it's not like, you're going to die if you do anything fun. So yeah, that's always nice. I like doing fun stuff without dying. I'm sure most people do. We can get all of this chopped down. I'm just making sure that I don't walk off the thing, but it's just relax because I got the uh, fences everywhere. And then I'm not even going to worry about those top things, I don't think. Like, I'll just let them decompose on their own. Like, I already went through an entire crook on this tree, and it's probably about half done. Maybe a little, maybe two thirds. But we can make another crook. I'm going through crooks like a crazy person. It's ridiculous. 
Redonculus. It's from, from the Bronx. Kind of felt like the, um, what's it called? The, this cool gate thing might be messing it up, but it wasn't. We have to stand, like, directly underneath these now. It's so high up, yeah. This is about all that I can get now. That just dropped two saplings from one leaf. And I think that's all I can chop down now. But I have enough. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some apples. Which, we are getting dangerously low on food again. And then we can fill up these ones. With saplings, we can just right-click that. That and we get our dirt. So now we have a renewable way to make dirt. Which takes a lot of saplings. I'm gonna grab one of these saplings out to go plant out here. And then we'll pull out our cool axe of despair and start tree tropping. Getting all these all of this wood. Which we're gonna be rolling in the wood. Like we could build a wood house no problem. But what I don't know how to do is make a What's it called? Cobblestone generator, because I don't have any lava. Probably give it get it later, but right now I'm a bit confused as to how we'd get lava. So yeah, it looks like this is pretty much completely done. So we can go ahead and start chopping this down. I think we'll be able to complete that silk um silk quest and then we'll call it good. So we got one more silkworm, so we're we're good. No need to worry about silkworms. And yeah, we're doing doing quite well. Um, lots of silk, lots of silkworms. There's my li latest death, 279 meters below us. And I have to be careful here because there's no fence to protect me. In fact, I'm just going to chop these ones for now. Later we can get the others if we want to, but for the moment I'm good without getting them. So let's take a look at this quest and then... We will probably call it an episode after that. We need a sieve, a fishing rod, a wooden hammer, and a bed. A bed will be nice to have. So we can do this. Four. We just need three. That's not going to be enough string, so I'll have to go cut down more. Going to need some more oak wood. Hope I didn't need any actual planks. But we have a bed now. So we're going to go ahead and place our bed down right in this corner means we have to punch down another one of these fancy redstone brick posts. Yay. And then we punch down this one so we won't suffocate when we wake up. And then we have to punch out this one so we won't suffocate either. Like, they look really nice, but they're a real pain because... You think you should be able to place something, but you can't. So now we have a bed. That's nice. Basic materials and processing and mariculture. D maricult mariculture, I think, is like forestry but for fish so now we can breed fish yay <laughs> oh and that's that's from magic bees oh man it's started already with the bees but i think we're doing pretty well now we need a oak sieve and a hammer which i know we can both make i think oak sieve ooh nice oak sieve back Silk mesh. Oh, that's a lot of string we need. <laughs> Never mind. We don't have enough. We don't have nearly enough string. Um, this is so risky. Keep hitting more of these leaves, though. So we can get more string and win this map. Ooh. Looks like we lost a couple off the edge. That's okay, though. I'm not too worried about it at this point in the game. <sighs> oh, man. Oh man, I'm getting out of there right now. <laughs> I'm so nervous, like up here, that I'm gonna die. That's almost done. Probably by the time we get this tree chopped down, that'll be all clear. So we have our cool axe of despair. We can use to chop stuff. And yeah, we're getting close to this episode being over, I think. <sighs> I'm probably being unnecessarily careful, but better safe than sorry is what I always say. But I also always say YOLO, so I don't know what to listen to at the moment. We're just going to run this way. I don't think we'll have enough string. Oh, we have enough string to make the sieve, which is good. 
So now we have our sieve, we need some sticks. Go click click. Bam bam. The silk mesh. And we have an oak sieve. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and put this one in this corner. So, so many fancy red stone brick posts. Now, do I have enough brick posts? I think we might. So we can just go like this, I think. Now we get a panel. And then we do, do pa two panels and we get a brick cover. So then I think we'll be able to get some redstone out of that. Don't really know. And yeah, there we go. We got some dirt. Let's go ahead and just sift one dirt just to see, show how this works. And now we got we got three stone there. Oh, I shouldn't have had that in my hands. So now we'll sift we'll sift two. Ah, we got some seeds. That means we can get some wheat and we can make some bread. Which that's very good. Very good. I am pretty Oh no, I got plenty of seven. So we're good. Whew. Brief moment of panic. We're gonna go ahead and plant that there. We'll go ahead and bone meal it. And then we'll chop down this tree and call that an episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Between this episode and the next one, I will probably get some more string. Because you saw me do that already. Um, I might get some... What's it called? Probably get more string, more wood. But I won't, make any, I won't do any quests without you guys. So don't worry about that. You'll get to see every quest I do on this one. And there we go. We'll go ahead and... Say, please leave a comment in the description if you're enjoying this. Leave a like if you enjoy the commentary. And subscribe if you'd be interested in seeing anything else. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day.